Hey everyone, my name is Carlo, and welcome back to another video. So, today we will be doing part B of how to do the login section for the making your account. So, on the last video, I showed how to create each ID for the for the um, login system. So we did the register part. So if you want to learn how to do the register, I recommend watching that video first before the login because it's you're going to require the, the register video and what we talked about. That means adding the the data table first and then adding each each row. But if you're here because you want to know how to do the login part, then that's very simple. So let's get started. So let's go ahead and create a login account. So now, as we code it, uh, as we coded it to go to the login screen, now we get detection input one, detection input two. So technically, it's the same thing, except we're going to be doing a few more advanced lots of code. So we're going to go ahead and get button 4 because that's the trigger. This time, instead of using create record, we're going to use read records. And we're just going to get accounts. So now, we are going to go ahead and we are going to go ahead and let's see what are we going to do next. We are going to get the if else command. So go ahead and also get the equal equal onto the math part. So now, what we're really going to be looking at is the records I name. So go ahead and copy that or just drag it. And you can just take this out. We are not going to need that. And we're going to go ahead and get... Um... We are going to go ahead and get to get text. And text input 1. Whoops. What did I do here? Oh, whoops. Apologies. We're going to go ahead and put records i.username. Because that's where we got the username from. So let's go ahead and also put equal equal get text and get text input one because that's the one that we want people to enter on so we can so we can so we can approve it and then um go to the next screen something like that next we are going to go ahead and uh copy this line of code and we are going to go ahead and paste it onto the other section of it this time entering password so now it says text input 2 go ahead and just type in text input 2 and you're all good now right now what we just said is if button 4 were to get triggered which is this then it would read the records of account which is the data table you've created right now and when username and sorry, it's not your name, but when w the text that's in here is going to be checked onto the username, and if it and if it equals the same thing, then it's going to go here to the password, and then on the second text input two, and to the password, it's going to eat. It's going to see if it's the same thing also, and it's going to go, and it's go and it's going to go to the next screen because everything checks out. So we'll go ahead and do the set screen and then do login success page. So now, what if the password's wrong and I want to tell people like the password's wrong? Then you're just going to go ahead and add a different line of text and then this time don't enter anything. You just click center. Now, all you got to do is drag and it says label 11. Now, thanks to the power of this you can actually just type in 
incorrect username or password just to make it more secure so people if they're hacking they won't know if it's the password or the username that's incorrect so just simply do the same thing now you probably want it to hide as soon a certain amount of time so people don't think it froze or it's still the incorrect account so we're just gonna go ahead and go do the set timeout like what we did on the register area and then put in a selected amount of milliseconds so i'm gonna do three thousand and then this time not add anything right there that way in like three thousand milliseconds it will get out and go to straight to a label 11. So now it's going to be the login success page. So let's go try it. Oh, you're probably wondering, well, how does it know if it's going to do the username and it already knows which username, how does it know about the password? It could think it's um, like, let's say, let's say one username is test and pretend it's test two. Um, and then this one is test three. But you entered, actually, yeah, you entered test three. But the real password says too. How does it know which ID it is? Well, then, really, it's actually what I believe is when it gets the username, it's actually going to think it's the same row as the password. So if I were to pick, so yeah, just to make get not confused, um, if I were to pick test, then the password is test two. I the system's gonna believe, oh, it's just gonna be on the same row of ID one. Or if I say test two and the password's test three, then it's gonna be the same row. If you probably don't know what I'm talking about, then you probably shouldn't need to worry worry because uh, this code or if you improvise might work. But I know this code will work. So, simply go on to the... So, we're going to go ahead and create a new account. Okay, why is my register not working? But in one. That's weird. Okay, well, um, I'm getting some technical difficulties. I don't know why I can't, I can't click it. When button one is clicked, it goes straight to register. I don't know why it's... Okay, this is the first time I'm actually receiving this problem. So, I apologize about that. Seems like... Seems like that... This code is not working. Maybe that way. Okay, this is embarrassing. Um, you guys are probably also wondering why did I keep this in the video. And I'm not going to take it out. Well, I actually just want to keep the um, whole thing in. So what I'm saying is that even though I'm making an error right now, maybe what I do is might help other users. So, yeah. Okay. I actually don't know why it's not working. Can't even duplicate it. Oh, okay. 
if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you will notice that sometimes it will decide when you do this, it will not work. Well, if this were to happen to you, then there's actually a pretty simple thing because what it's doing is sort of duplicating its screens. Simple refresh. Okay, I'm probably going to cut this off in the video. There you go. So, now when you're in the login, or actually not the login, the register, you're going to go ahead and type in, I don't know, hello and hi. Now when I click register, it's going to say you've successfully registered for an account. When I get out, it's probably gone. Now, if I go to login, I'll say hello, hi, log in, and there we go. And log out doesn't work. If I go to login again and type in test hi, then it's not going to let me in because it's the incorrect username and password. If I type in hello, but random things, it still doesn't work. So hi, or, or this, and hello, incorrect username or password. And that's it. That's pretty much it um, for the login. So, this, sorry, it's a short video. It's, um, yeah, sorry, it's a short video. We're not going to be working on, we're not going to be working on the messaging part yet, but we will soon later. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, for part B, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, thanks for watching. And yeah, thanks for watching.